have a hot, we have a medical tent, we have food, we have everything. We have more services here than your average municipality is having these days. And that's an amazing thing. And we put it together in one day. I think there's a lesson in all of that. So when people come into the park, they, they want to know what's going on. Um, they, uh, they, they, they come over here and we're just able to give them a brief outline of what's going on. Um, a lot of people even just come in to ask us why we're here. And then we can engage with members of the public why we're here. It's kind of like outreach without having to go anywhere. <laughs> I've been helping out with the facilitation committee, trying to develop a process for the General Assemblies and uh, for all the other meetings in between and to help with uh, programming uh, workshops and things like that. Um, we're going to have a table for live stream, so it can be constantly streaming on the internet. Uh, table for communication, and then uh, we're going to have another tent for production, video production, graphic design, illustration for the websites, and then we're going to have eventually have a public table where we're going to get people to donate, um, use laptops that work, that we can set up so people can just come in, check their Facebook, check their Twitter, uh, comment on it, hashtag Occupy Toronto. Uh, we feed, we serve about a thousand meals a day. The health inspector sent us a letter the Friday before we started the occupation asking about our preparation standards. Because we only serve vegetarian, those standards are relatively easy, they're very low hazard. Uh, we have the triple wash basin system, uh, we all wear gloves all the time, and we serve people, we don't let them serve themselves. Um, so far, the city's been very happy, we're very happy. Uh, we're working very hard to make sure every, all of the volunteers know the standards, and it's been working great so far. I came here, started to be the church liaison, and the reason why I did that was was because 34 years ago, I sang here as a chorister for eight years. 22 years ago, I was married here with my lovely wife. 15 years ago, my daughter was baptized here in that baptismal font right behind that door right there by the dean who we met with on Saturday and Sunday and the archbishop who were fully supportive and completely supportive. They've given us water, they've given us power, and I say literally power, not divine power, but literal power uh, to source our kitchen, uh, to enable and to communicate. This is the preschool. Somebody brought a board um, next to the library. They placed it, and people have just written down any courses that they're willing to teach or facilitate. Last night we we uh, had a, a discussion on alternatives to capitalism, and that it wasn't necessarily like a, a a class with the teacher. The library is in need of shelves. There's only a there's a few genres right now. Uh, for lack of space and all that. Well, the media coverage has been, it's been hot and cold, it's been mixed. Uh, some sources have been kind of sympathetic to our cause, like they seem to understand that we're here uh, for a process and that it takes time, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day and we're not definitely try not trying to build Rome. Uh, but they kind of give us our chance to, to do what we're doing, to, to follow the process through. And they give us the benefit of the doubt that we're not all completely off our rockers. This is our newspaper, sponsored by the food team. We thought it was real important to have a nice voice uh, in the occupation. So the media co-op's been around for uh, I don't know, about two years here in Toronto. We covered the G20. We had a paper called The Spoke, which we had uh, every day during the G20. So we sort of uh, brought that back. We now have a paper called 99. Knowledge is power. Don't let them make you a fool. Be mindful. Learn more. Get informed. Stay here the night. We'll help you keep warm. Uh, this is a logistics area. Uh, we basically collect a lot of donations here and uh, equipment. We have blankets and sweaters and coats for people who are cold or whatever. Someone even brought a massage table, a full blown massage table. And we're trying to get a masseuse set up for that. But yeah, that leads into the service part. We're trying to find people to, uh, individuals who might take these resources, run with them, create their own uh, project. Sukkot is a Jewish holiday that uh, it's a harvest holiday. Um, and one of the things that you're traditionally supposed to do during Sukkot is build a sukkah, 
which is an impermanent home um, and there's certain rules about it which some of which we followed and some of which we have uh, adapted for our situation um, so it's supposed to be a very welcoming place um, and we also have, have here a wish wall where we're asking people to write their hopes and dreams A mother of uh, uh, two kids came out, and the kid's about 10 and, and 7, and they're like, we got a bunch of stuff, where should we bring it? And they brought us this tent, an electric heater, a big lamp, um, blankets, a bag of sweaters. Somebody this morning came by uh, on his way to work at 6.30 and brought us my, uh, a stack of blankets this big. Um, he went to the dollar store and bought a bag full of leg warmers. It's been crazy. <laughs> like absolutely yep. ridiculous yeah. um, and very very emotional <laughs> yeah it's crazy <laughs> There's 160 tents. 160 tents, two, three, sometimes four people per tent. Um, I technically haven't slept that night. Oh uh, no! Because we have a, we have we need a lot of people to come in uh, at night. So um, I technically uh, sleep just mostly in the day. In other jurisdictions, there's been arrests. There have been people hurt. We're being looked at as a good practice, a best practice, because we're communicating and we're civil. We're absolutely civil, and great things are happening here. I'm really inspired to be here. This is day four, and we all just met, and we're getting better and better at it every hour. Oh, do you think? 